running a little bit late, just was able to catch the Nintendo Direct, so we're dropping right into it with the Mario game reveal. Cool. It looks cute. I like the, like, cell shading going on. Not a huge Mario person, though, so... Wait a minute. Wait, is it... Is it a turn-based RPG? Now that... That I'm into. Wait a minute. Like, kind, kinda? And it's got timing-based attacks? Mario and Luigi. Brothership. That's cute, because they're on a ship. Well, okay. That's actually really soon. I love when they reveal games that are coming out, like, soon. I'm Shinya Takahashi. All right, I have a guest for the rest of this. Hi. Oh. <laughs> so you missed a Mario and Luigi game that looked really cute? Really? And then... <gasps> they are doing it! Yes! <laughs> so this is a game, it was made by uh, uh, the people that made Final Fantasy originally. Uh-huh. They le they left, started a Mistwalker studio, yeah. and this game has been trapped on mobile forever. Uh -huh. And it, but it, like it's apparently incredibly good. It's it it was rumored that it was going to be announced today. Amazing. Ah! This looks right up your alley. Mm -hmm. It's Umatsu, who's my favorite composer. You can also send like, enemies you've encountered to a separate dimension and fight them later. Dimension. Not, not dimension or dungeon. Dimension. There's a turn order. Now, let us save the world together. Fantasian Neo Dimension launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Yeah. Rumor has it it's also going to be available on like PC and everything else too. So. Another sport is PlayStation. Spoko Square. Basketball is being added as a free update to the Nintendo Switch sports game. Dribble, pass, and shoot. In two on two matches, these I don't play. Controls. So. <laughs> it doesn't look Try on fun. Three point challenge no. solo. I mean, like, your girl loves Wii Sports as much as the next limit. girl. I'm really excited for Fantasia. That looks. I'm so glad it's coming. I mean, it's by, like, uh, made by Titans. Right, the team you trust. <laughs> yeah. I knew it. This free update for Nintendo Switch Sports dunks its way onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Any like hand drawn effect stuff? It's so pretty. Yeah. Oh, nice hair. Nice hair. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's pretty. Yeah, that's that's this is going to be a game that's up a lot of people's alley and not mine. <laughs> this has got some major Rapunzel energy to it. Oh. And I love that. <laughs> I wonder if that's like... Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> Mio Memories in Orbit. It's an array of cartoon classics. Cartoon classics! Tell me more. Gargoyles. Into a new update for okay, okay, fine. Monarch's greatest detective is solving a mystery, and only Mickey and friends can help. Darcy, new adventure, do you mind? Uncover hints and evidence oh, I wanted to get this for me and you to play. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. It's not just on, it's on PlayStation and stuff, too. 
Start sleuthing because this free update launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Island Adventures Await. I love that they literally made a game. Customized so there's a character. South Park episode, the World of Warcraft South Park episode, where they're like, uh, Butters is like, oh yeah, I'm playing, I thought we were playing Hello Kitty Island Adventure. And they're like, go install World of Warcraft. And then that game never existed. Like, Hello Kitty Island Adventure was a fake thing for the show. And now there really is a Hello Kitty Island Adventure. Is this just Animal Crossing, but Hello Kitty? Uh, I think that was that was a crossover. Oh, crossover. Okay, wait a minute. All right, I'm into this. Now, <laughs> now I'm sold. Pookie Pig and more across four arcade style sports okay i want to play this yeah yeah across iconic levels and up to four player local co-op why are there more looney tunes games that's exciting but weird all of a sudden crashes onto nintendo switch this fall yeah no i'm into that that's all folks let's see if you game on I feel like kids don't even know the Looney Tunes anymore. <laughs> New crewmate and imposter roles are being added to Among Us. Oh, fun. Alert others when eliminated as a noisemaker. Plant tracking devices on others as a tracker. Cool. Or turn invisible while taking out players as a Oh, victim. that's cool. Suss things out when this free update for Among Us. Just be like, they'll never know it's me. Later today. I like that all of the Among Us roles that you can do are like a monster army is at not your command. Like they all have like a this pretty hardcore downside. Realm of monsters. Those who command and raise them are called Farmagia and play a vital role in the land's civilization. Ten of Farmagia must rise up against the oppressive Magus to stop his vicious reign of the underworld. Raise monsters and lead them into the fight against the Magus's army. Oh, it's like a Plant seeds. Pikmin. Then cultivate and harvest them to make your buddies come to life. Huh? <laughs> what? Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I'm a little lost there. <laughs> for battle. Give commands to your monsters and exploit enemy weaknesses in action packed combat. Just give me more Digimon games, actually. Like, I don't need this. Just give me <laughs> Digimon games. Digimon game. Like, literally, if this was, if you said this exact game, but it was Digimon, I'd be, I'd be sold. Right, right. Wreak havoc on your foes. That guy's pretty cool, though. Those damage numbers are goofy. Join the rebellion to stop the Magus in I do love launching on Nintendo just the insistence Switch on adding farming goes. sims. Into oh, everywhere. Every game. I really well, love Marvelous it. is Marvelous does a lot. They do um story of seasons. Oh sure, so that's kind of their thing. Yeah, yeah. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Country Knew there was gonna yes! <laughs> the system is barreling onto Nintendo Switch in yes. HD. The villainous Tiki Tap tribe has hypnotized the It's not a new game, but it's, you know, well, I mean, like, I'll this still is take the it. Nostalgia I need it. Well, they need. Because I want the first Donkey Kong Country remastered on. Like, that's what needs to happen. Donkey Kong Country Returns, though, is. I'm not mad. No. Each level is filled with hijinks, but they're no match for these top bananas. I love the music in those games. Yeah. Mine carts. I used to play a lot of the Donkey Kong games with my to brother growing up. Rocket barrels. Yeah, me and Justin used to play them all the time. Nice. We used to play Donkey Yeah. Rampy. Yeah, Rampy! Yes. Maybe that's where my love of rhinos came from. <laughs> Pass a Joy-Con controller to a buddy for two-player local co-op. Yes. Oh, love it. Local co -op. 80 appealing levels are in store. Including the additional level I'm so bad Nintendo at platformers, though. That's the problem. <laughs> it's okay, me too. <laughs> we can be terrible we can, together. We can, yeah, all right. Country Returns HD swings awesome. onto the Nintendo Switch system January 16th. Yeah, I want the I want the yeah, SNES versions. Yeah. Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's Jungle Escapades returns in HD. Don't plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with these Kongs. Next, please take a look at this. Is this Fire Emblem? I wasn't sure for a sec. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, Dragon Quest! <laughs> 
So originally they announced this as Dragon Quest 3 HD, uh -huh. but then it took it like we didn't hear anything more. I think it's going to be the first three games. All I think three. it's gonna be all three. Wow. Oh, it's still HD Dragon Quest Snake. 3. Interesting. The journey with allies to face the arch fiend. I cannot wait for this game. On an epic adventure. The 2D HD style is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Memorable encounter. Perplexing challenges. In this, I can see where Sea of Stars got some inspiration. And for oh, yeah, yeah. Monsters await. I, iconic RPG I'm really surprised that HD 2D. the rumor wasn't true. Unless they're like, oh, but wait. Very possible. Forge your own path. The legacy begins. Well, I'm gonna say that. I know. Hmm. I'm like still Dragon waiting for Quest the three HD 2D remake coming to Nintendo Switch November 14th. I I mean that's I'm excited, but I'm like less excited. Right, you're hoping. You I was hoping a, the rumor wait, was true. There's more. Wait. Wait. Oh, oh. Wait. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. They are! <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah! There you go! <laughs> oh, they're cutting oh, they it up into... They're, so they three you. starts and then... Nintendo ah, I'm so excited! Hi, <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, for them trying to make money, that's smart. Yeah, like, sure. let's release the third, which technically comes first because it's a, it's a prequel to one and two. Sure, sure. Oh. Oh, wow. I love this guy's shirt. Yeah, that's, that's nice. That's really cool. Yeah, see. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they play three, one, and two in that order. Sure, sure. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you, Mr. Hori. We hope you're excited to play the entire Erdrick trilogy, now in HD 2D. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Let's continue with more headlines. This is so weird. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen this, but I it's like not. it's like the Lego games, but it was a matter of time. Ooh, that looks awful. Whoa! He man, great. Don't sh don't show the Switch version. <laughs> the world of Funko is coming to life in this action adventure mashup for the ages. Play with more than sixty characters as you explore locations based on over twenty iconic movies. I don't know why I didn't see this coming as a. I mean, I I would want to play it. But like, each with their own as like a fun little goofy thing. Like I like the Lego yeah, games. Yeah. It's just like a goofy collectathon thing. Right, right. Oh, Battlestar Galactica. Wait a minute. Is that Chucky? Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. I'm even more in now. <laughs> yeah, that that looks like a game for just fun. Yeah, yeah. To that's just play on, just you know. Around. We've got a smorgasbord of spooky, silly, and strategic games. Strategic games. Fire em no, they would silly. Fire Emblem would be like a huge one. An adventure of ghoulish proportions. Uh, makes sense. I thought this was already announced, Summon but your courage Hello. and explore multiple mansions filled with goofy ghosts, tricky traps, and other supernatural shenanigans. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. I feel like Luigi's Mansion is the only Mario stuff that I actually like. I haven't played any of them. They're really fun. Oh, I've heard. Me and the quirky little Dempa Man. Find them, catch them, and lead them on They're like if Ghostbusters were for kids. Awesome. Not that Ghostbusters isn't really, but. Customize all sorts of outfits, decorate your island however you'd like, and more. Plus, up to four this is like the most Switch looking game I've ever seen. Yeah. Dempa Man. The new Dempa Man is free to play and launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch July 22nd. 
strategize away in this tower defense. Yeah, I was gonna say it's definitely not gonna be Fire Emblem because no, no. Fire Emblem was gonna be like it would be its own yeah, yeah. category. Yeah. Enemy strongholds. Choose from over 300 units. But if they announce, so the thing that I'm really looking forward to is if they announce the Final Fantasy IX remake. Right. Which you can also I've heard rumors that maybe, but I don't know. Might be too soon. Storms onto the Nintendo Switch system later today. Embark on an expedition Another, of the day. Another uh, darkest dungeon. Really awaited sequel to the gothic roguelike RPG. Board your stage coach Just a switch and set across a decaying landscape yeah, yeah. to prevent an apocalypse. Fight off nightmarish fiends. Like these, these games are combat. really, really cool. Mm -hmm. I like the art style. Mm -hmm. Abilities after each deadly run. Darkest Dungeon 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July. 15th. I'm actually surprised I haven't played these, but I know some friends that play it that really Shop. love it. Sure. More classic titles are on the way. Okay, say Pokemon. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> play Link's classic 16-bit yep. adventure and team up online to explore randomized dungeons in The Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past Four Swords. Yep. Cool. Link to the Past is my favorite Zelda game. Experience the remake of Samus's first adventure. Yeah, they need to put Metroid all of the Zero classic Mission. Pokemon games on there. I'm shocked that they haven't. It's free money. Right. Plus, coming to the new Nintendo 64, Nintendo Switch Online Mature 17 Plus collection of games. Oh, Turok. <laughs> Brave the dangerous lost land to stop the campaigner's nefarious schemes in Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. Those games are fun. <laughs> Oh, that makes sense. They just announced a new Perfect Dark game. Oh, sure. So it makes sense that they're putting... Yeah. Perfect Dark was fun. Today? They, need, they definitely need more on there. Yeah, I've looked through it, and I'm like, it's a little thin. For yeah. Me, for what you're paying. This is Verona. A young woman with the ability to communicate with phantoms. I will take all of this girl. Showing her on a journey is, to save her friend. Oh, I know that voice actor. <laughs> in this new installment in the Phantom Brave series. Oh, I've heard Phantom Brave's pretty good. It looks adorable. I haven't played it. Take on tactical turn-based battles. Where you'll combine the phantoms you've befriended with objects in various ways. Well, I gotta be honest, so far I think Nintendo Direct has the best showcase this year that we've seen. <laughs> like it's this is real good. They had me at Donkey Kong. I, I knew it was gonna be like a little bit RPG heavy, because it was rumored that it would be. Right, right. But uh and I don't know if you know this, but I'm actually like a pretty big fan You're of RPGs. Kind of into those. Yeah. yeah, I like them a little bit. Not as much as Call of Duty, of course, but naturally. Yeah, that's I was gonna say it looked at first I thought it was Disgaea, but it's it's not. But it's by Nice, so this one's gonna take you for a ride. Seven arcade games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch. Oh, cool. as oh nice. Collection. Awesome. Clash in X-Men versus Street Fighter. Yup. <laughs> Duke it out in Marvel versus Capcom 2, New Age of Heroes. Yup. <laughs> Take down the Kingpin in the beat em up side scroller, the Punisher, and more. Oh, wow. Wow. Awesome. Ooh, Children of the Atom, the X-Men game. To polish your fighting skills and combos. Select online mode to challenge rivals around the world. Online mode? That's great. Yeah, but it's Switch, so like, well, like but still, it's not going to be still, that good. Well, it, it doesn't necessarily mean all of these games could definitely come out for other things, to too. Sure. To or listen to music from each game. Switch's online infrastructure is not great. Mm. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics launches on Nintendo Switch this year.
the latest game in the Mario Party series takes place on an enormous See, I never got into Mario Party. The, the, the problem with Mario Party is you need friends to play it with. <laughs> I was about to say. Yeah, I never really, yeah. Isn't a jamboree just a party? Yeah, but like a hoedown kind of party. So it's party party? Party party. Party party. <laughs> oh my god, it's a mall! Yes! in-game coins to get a star at half price when they're on flash sale. You just unironically yassed. <laughs> just excited. <laughs> I will say it does look kind of fun to do like a hammer and nails thing. I don't know why, but and now please take a look at this. Oh what? He's so cute. I thought this was going to be a remake of something, but it's... I don't think so. Huh. Echoes of Wisdom. Huh. I'm sorry, is this a Legend of Zelda game where you play as Zelda? Maybe. Hello, everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. Now that's my type of Zelda game. What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda yes. to step into the protagonist role. Huh. Awesome. Love it. Thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. To explain more, please take a look at this video. Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri Rod, nice. and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. By waving the tri rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an echo. Once you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Huh. Just like that. You can create wooden boxes, old beds, and unusual things like water blocks. How you use them separately or together is entirely huh. up to you. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. I think Even I like battles it. Battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. <laughs> That's not all, though. Hmm. You can also create echoes of monsters. Yes. What? After doing so, they'll fight by your side. Okay, that's really cool. Okay, Wait I a minute. Monsters. Wait a minute. Different abilities. So choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key, after all. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> in a high rule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. How was that? 
I hope you That's a great demonstration like, of the echo It looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. I wonder what the UI is though to like change depending on the echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom oh, that's launches real soon. September 26th. Wow. A Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series will also be available at launch. We hope you're looking forward to playing as Zelda in this new adventure. Now, I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen away back to <laughs> Mr. Takahashi. They're not done. Thank you, Mr. Aonuma. Please look forward to the newest entry. All right, Fire Emblem or Final Fantasy IX? Oh, I don't think Final Fantasy IX is going to happen, but. Wow. Let loose and party on. I was wondering why this wasn't at Ubisoft's thing, mm. like a Just Here Dance game. There's they show his four songs and more. <laughs> a new Lego adventure is on the horizon. Weird that they are showing this again. The world of horizon in Lego they showed it at the Join Machine Hunter PlayStation Aloy thing. Okay. To save the world from an ancient evil. Journey through lush landscapes. Dive deep into the cauldrons. Maybe they didn't confirm the it was for Switch. And traverse mm. other locations inspired by the original game. But be careful. I'm wondering if they're going to end with something big, though. Like, I feel like Zelda right, would have made the most huge. sense to end on. So, so do they have another bigger thing than Zelda? That's what I'm asking. They already announced a couple Mario things, so probably nothing there. Oh, it's going to be Metroid Prime 4. That's going to be the last announcement. Customize her appearance with lots of outfits. Oh, and you don't have to explore this vast wilderness alone. Team up with familiar faces from the world of Horizon in two-player local or online. Horizon is amazing, but n like a very not Lego Horizon Adventure. Like a Lego thing, so it's well, weird, but it's cool that they're, you know. Stray's <coughs> journey begins. Has Stray not been on the Switch yet? Jeez, Louise. Wow. Yeah, this is just a port, but that game was great. <laughs> Kitty, no. Careful, kitty. No. He's okay. Are you sure? Experience yeah. a decaying cyber city through the eyes of a cat separated from their family and friends. People Explore refused to play it. There was like a drama thing where people were like, I refuse to play it because the cat gets hurt. It's like, but the cat's totally fine. Yeah, but the cat gets hurt. And if you lose, the cat gets hurt. And like, then don't lose. <laughs> like the the cat doesn't actually like. Yeah, your answer is get good. It also doesn't like show the cat being like if you lose the cat. You know the right, screen right. goes dark. Whatever. Careful though, not everyone is excited to have you slinking around, including hordes of hostile creatures ready to swarm. Keep exploring to venture into more areas of this unfamiliar world, and make your way back to safety. Stray finds its way onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Didn't that come out like two years ago? Yeah, like a while wow. ago. Welcome home, Hobbit. If you've ever wanted to live like a Hobbit from the Lord of the Rings, now I have wanted to live as a fact, Hobbit. Yes. <laughs> in an idyllic, quiet corner of Middle Earth can be yours. Customize your appearance, decorate your home, and settle into life in the Shire. As a newcomer to the little haven of Bywater, you'll befriend your neighbors, work together to solve problems, and even share a meal or three. Explore or three. garden, fish, forage, and cook. The best way to build a Hobbit community is by hosting a dinner party with your homemade dishes. That's Plus, cute. You can trade with your neighbors for unique decorations or special ingredients for even tastier meals. Friendly hobbits and familiar faces await your arrival when Tales of the Shire launches on the that Nintendo Switch cute. system yeah. this holiday. Investigate, interrogate, checkmate. I this series is huge and I don't understand. Like I have no idea what it like I don't understand. The sequel that was previously unreleased outside of Japan are coming to Nintendo Switch as one collection. 
as the prolific prosecutor Miles Edgeworth take the case out of the courtroom and investigate crime scenes, gather information by interviewing people and inspecting evidence, then use the power of logic to solve challenging cases. The power of logic. <laughs> Enjoy all new hand-drawn character visuals from the original series character designer or swap to the original sprites for oh, that's more cool. classic oh, that is cool. Take a break from your investigation. I like when games allow you to the gallery, like let the player choose which if they like the old style or this one more. And more. Past and present collide as you uncover the truth at any cost. Ace Attorney Investigations Collection. Yeah, those games are huge, but they're basically like courtroom simulator things. For people who really like Law and Order. We're just a big chunk of the population. Oh, this looks like an RPG. After a devastating attack by unknown assailants, Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. A mysterious school mascot suddenly appears. While Takumi manages to get out of harm's way, He's then forced to enroll at the Last Defense Academy, along with 15 other students. I gotta know who the developer is before I can say anything. <laughs> oh, interesting. It's like a... An academy shrouded in secrecy. And the unavoidable loss of allies. Can Takumi survive this 100-day trial, colored by extreme and despair, and return to his normal life? The creators of Danganronpa present... Oh, that makes sense. Last Defense Academy, launching on Nintendo Switch. I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's one of those games where, like, if the writing's really good, it could be really good. Embark on a saga spanning Ooh, saga! Generations. What do you mean? A full remake of Romancing Saga 2 is marching on to Nintendo Switch. Yo. Dope. Yo. Saga the games are so good and weird. Ran across <laughs> multiple generations while challenging the legendary seven heroes who have turned to darkness. In combat, use returning Saga features like glimmers to learn skills. And formations to enhance abilities. Nice. Turn based battles have also evolved into timeline battles where the action order is key. Hmm. Innovative features like United Attack can also help with strategy. How will you expand your empire? And in which order will you Ooh. fight the seven heroes? Something about his design is awesome. Every I really like that. Mm. Will dramatically alter the course of the story. Safeguard your empire's future and protect your legacy from peril. Otherwise, the vengeful seven heroes may emerge victorious. Saga games are like Romancing Saga 2, kind of a Final Fantasy. Like they take a lot of the gameplay stuff that happens in Final Fantasy 2 and in Saga games are like that. Mm -hmm. We hope you're excited to experience the full remake of Romancing Saga 2. All right, last reveal. Got, That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. It's gonna be Metroid Prime 4. Next will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Yep. Yep. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah. It actually looks like it's running pretty well for being on the Switch. <laughs> You're such a Switch hater. Well, no, I mean, there's, you know, 
The Switch is great. It's just, it's, your cell phone is more powerful than it. <laughs> like, in a game like this, you know, it does matter, like, for frames and stuff does. Pokemon, yeah, who cares? That looks great. Yeah. Nintendo fans everywhere just freaked out. <laughs> like, that is the, it's the only one that could have been last. I was hoping it was going to be Final Fantasy IX or Remake, but... Or, um... Uh, uh, Fire Emblem. Mm -hmm. Wait, do you... Huh. So, Switch 2... It's going to be... A, so, it's going to be a Switch and Switch 2 title. Mm. I'm pretty sure, because I'm pretty sure Switch 2 is coming out in 2025. After a very long time, we are finally able to share more information about this title. Wow, that, that Nintendo Direct was... There's a lot in there. That was absurd. A lot in there. That was absurd. We hope you're looking forward to Samus Aran's new adventure. Wow. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. But wait, Final Thanks Fantasy IX Remake coming to our... Nice try. Okay. Nice try. A boy can dream. <laughs> A boy can dream. I think that might be the best Nintendo Direct we've ever had. Like, that, that was... Had I mean, especially for, for me, I was like, that was in, I was into that. Right, they had exciting new titles and remakes and remasters. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. The, I think the Dragon Quest series being... Like, I think that might be my favorite. I love that they teased the hell out of you. Uh, I, but I was like, no way. Really, like, they're gonna. And then, well, oh, oh, no. Oh, cause, wait. Because I was like, Dragon Quest Three. Oh, that's how you were able to hear it. I didn't realize you had an ear button. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Dragon Quest Three is, like, not that long. Like, those first three games aren't that long. Mm -hmm. So I was like, it does make sense if they're going to release three and they're going to, like, create that world and that art style and blah, blah, blah. And the monsters and everything else. Right. Why not do. Right. Together. Just right. package it together. Are they, you know, could they? Yes. They're choosing not to, but... Right. Like, right. they easily could do Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3 in the same. In the same but it actually is kind of makes sense to do the prequel first. Because if you put out the package where people are playing 1, 2, and 3, they're going to play 1, 2, 3. In order. Uh, yeah. Right. But in this way, it's like, you get to see the prequel the story. story first. And right. Yeah. Right. I like that. That's awesome. I'm excited about the Zelda game. Yeah, that also looks really I, good. I think that'll be right up my alley. You're going to love that. I'm going to love that game. You're going to love that. I'm going to hyper fixate on that so one. So <laughs> when she's playing that, that means I get to play a ton of games. Because you're just going to be like, you're going to be busy. And I'm yeah. going to be like, yeah, I can just play whatever I want now. <laughs> I don't have to pay attention to my girlfriend, fiance, because she's not paying attention to me. <laughs> yep, yep. All right, cool. Thanks for watching the direct with us. It's fun. Do it again sometime. All right, next direct. <laughs> Bye, never give up, never surrender.